Hi everyone! So if you're anything like me and you're a greasy chicken and you have oily hair then you know the pains of having to wash it and dry it and style it and do all that stuff to it every single day. It's just something that really pains me to do and I really hate having to take all the extra time and wake up early and I love to sleep and I hate waking up any earlier than I have to and so I rely heavily on dry shampoos to to get me through a couple of days without having to wash and style my hair. I actually don't even style it every day. What I always do just to save time is I wash it at night and then I let it air dry overnight and then in the morning I will try to do whatever it is that I can to kind of make it look somewhat presentable but I don't have the time um, or even the patience to, to style it every single day. So if I do style it, I like it to last a little longer than just one day and therefore I am really big on dry shampoos. I've tried so many brands of higher end and lower end and in between and it's been so hard for me to find something that's good, that works, not overpowering when it comes to the smell, that doesn't make my hair look gray, where it doesn't leave like that white residue. It's been so hard for me to find those. And I found um, three dry shampoos that I really, really like. And if you rely on them as much as I do, uh, and you can't find one that you like, I hope that this video will be helpful for you because I will tell you what I use and also how to use it so that you don't waste much time on trying to get it right and you don't see like that white residue and um, and it works best for you. So I hope this video will be helpful and if you want to know what dry shampoos I use and how I use it, please keep watching. So some of my favorite ones, I'll tell you my favorite ones and then I'll tell you how I use them. So the two sprays that I like the most, this is my number one and if you've seen any of my other videos, um, the Ulta Ho or the hair care video, you know this is just an amazing dry shampoo. What this does, it's it's the Sebastian Dry Clean Only Shampoo and I bought this at Ulta and they retail for $20 but Ulta did have a sale where it was $10 each and if you bought two you got one free so I got three for the price of one um, like I mentioned in my Ulta haul video. I'm wearing it right now and this is second day hair. And as you can see, it really doesn't look bad, as bad as it would normally look without the dry shampoo. What it does is it's kind of, to me, almost like the uh, volumizing, uh, not the spray, the volumizing powder that Bedhead has and that all the other brands, a lot of brands have them. It's like that powder where you would put it in your hair and it would make your hair kind of like almost sticky, but not really sticky, but just like really like... I don't know how to even exp I guess sticky would be the word but it makes it so that the hair doesn't fall down and you get voluminous hair and it's big and it's like stays that way and it doesn't budge that's pretty much what this is except in a spray and it's called a dry shampoo instead of a volumizing spray which I think it should be called a volumizing spray it really gives your hair so much body so much body I can't even tell you how crazy big my hair it gets when I put this on and this is second day again, so I, I put it on a while ago and it still it still gives me volume. Normally my hair would be like well, like really just flat and oily and and you know and just it wouldn't even it wouldn't look half as good as it looks now. Not that I'm I'm not saying it looks amazing because it doesn't, but it looks so much better than it normally would if I didn't use this. It gives you volume, that's the number one thing. And because of the stickiness, like the the volumizing effect it makes it so that your hair wherever you put it on your hair it doesn't get oily it just doesn't get oily I guess I guess it um it coats your hair with you know with the product and it kind of stops the oil from getting on your hair and it's just amazing it really is it so much volume it lasts I could go and honestly I used to have to wash my hair every single day like every single day not two days every day of the week every week of the month like I had to do it because my hair would just get so oily it would get so flat it would look like and especially that I wash my hair at night and let it dry um, overnight by the morning you know however my hair dries overnight however I sleep it gets like all these weird like angles and all these weird like it's just positioned weird and it's hard to get it to to look somewhat presentable and this really really helps and it really it gets me I can actually go through three days without washing my hair if I use this if I use this on day one 
I'll go like two more days and I will wash my hair and it'll look normal. It'll look fine. And especially this is really helpful when you're doing a bun and it gives you so much volume like in your roots. When you're trying to do a bun and you want like big voluminous like big bun, this really helps with that. So for a drugstore um, dry shampoo that I really like, I have this one which is the Dove um, Hair Therapy Refresh and Care Volume Dry Shampoo. And this one... That's the best dry shampoo that I found in a drugstore. I tried a lot of them. I tried um, all different brands of all different kinds. And this is the only one that I actually like because this is the only smell that I don't find incredibly like offensive and strong and like gives you a headache. This is the only one that I actually somewhat enjoy. And it's really good as well. Um, it's a cheaper, it's way cheaper than this one so if you're looking for something that's um, more affordable I would go with this it doesn't give you a, nearly as much volume as the Sebastian one does but it's still really good it does its job and it smells nice it's not like one of those dry shampoos that smell like a box spray which most of them do um, so yeah I really like this one and then my last but definitely not least uh, dry shampoo that I really like is the no drought dry shampoo from Lush and this I just really, really like. I got this because of my friend. She recommended this to me. So what I found everyone does who uses a powder, a dry shampoo, whether it's a baby powder or an actual dry shampoo powder, is they would take it into their hands and then they would just kind of like go like this and just put it on their head. And what that does is it gives you like that white residue. And it also, when you're putting it on your hair, then you're massaging your scalp. And when you massage your scalp, it creates more oil. It makes your scalp produce more oil. So that's just not the way to put dry shampoo on, um, especially powders. A lot of people, they do it that way. And even the instructions says to do it that way. And it's just not the way to do it because you're kind of missing the point of using a dry shampoo by massaging your head and making it produce more oil. So what I do is I take this, this is kind of silly, but that's just what I do. I take this little um, container and I would put some dry shampoo in there. As you see, I have some in there. And then what I do is I take a big brush, which this is the Sonia Kashuk. It was um, one of the Target ones back in the day. I don't really use it. Uh, it. It's a bronzer brush, but I don't use it for bronzer. And what I do is I put some dry shampoo in here and I just take the brush and I like tap it so it doesn't, so not too much comes out. And what I would do is I would just take my hair and I would just like put it on with the brush. So that way, it doesn't leave the white residue, but then it distributes it evenly so that you don't get like this whole patch of white powder in one spot. And you also don't have to massage your head and massage your scalp to, to distribute it so that it doesn't produce more oil. So that's what I do. Um, another tip that really worked for me too um, is that I would put dry shampoo on at night before... I wake up in the morning um, because what, well obviously at night before I wake up, but um, the point of it is that if you put on the dry shampoo at night as opposed to after you wake up when you get ready, um, during the night it will absorb into your hair. So whether it's a spray or, or a powder, whatever it is that you use, if you use it at night, you can put a lot of it at night and not worry about the white residue. Because during the night, when your hair gets oily and it produces all that oil, it will have the time to actually soak into your hair. And by the morning, it won't be like all white and it won't leave that residue. And it will be already in your hair, it will be soaking in the oils and you won't see it. So if you were to use it in the morning, it would leave the white residue and you wouldn't have time to, you know, sit there and wait for it to, to get in your hair and, and really absorb the oil. You would have to go and that creates a lot of issues because I hate when I have like that white residue. It just drives me crazy. I can't even tell you how it drives me crazy. So if you're going to use, um, whether it's a powder or spray or whatever, use it at night. Let it sink into your hair and that way by the time you wake up, it will already be taken care of all that oils that you have. Um, so yeah, these are my three favorite dry shampoos, um, really recommend all of them. This one is the only one that I actually use in the morning because it doesn't leave any kind of white residue or anything. It's more of like, like I said, it's a volumizing spray and it kind of coats your hair so that the oil doesn't go through it. 
so it works as a dry shampoo but it really really gives you volume so that's um a great one and then these two i would use at night oh these two I would use at night and um, let it soak into my hair and by the morning my hair is fine. So I hope this video was helpful. It took me a long, long time to, to actually find products that I really like because I'm very picky with products and I'm very picky with smells and with texture and, and that work the way that they're supposed to work, the way that they say they will work. And I hope that you found this video helpful and that um, you could use some of the tips. Uh, for yourself and that it will help you if you've had any problems looking for dry shampoo or if you have crazy oily hair like I do um, So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions ask me down below and let me know if you've tried any of them and How you like it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon